I'm in charge of the boys for a few minutes this morning. Look at this entertainment out the window. Oh yeah, nothing like good entertainment out the window. Yeah, tell me. View, not a bad view, YouTube. Welcome to Boulder, Colorado. This is where I went to uh, college nine years ago, so it's been a little while. And this is the cross country course for the University of Colorado. I'm going to share some stories about this course here in a minute. Oh my gosh, so many memories right behind me. But before I do that, we got to get our warm up on in the PEG 35s. There they are. And I'm reading your comments, everybody. You are calling for a comparison between the turbos and the 35. So that is coming up, not today, but I will compare these two shoes, how they feel, what they feel like underfoot, the, uh, the upper, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that later in the week. But guys, I, I gotta get my warm up. Like this is the first speed workout of 2018. I gotta get these legs moving forward. Come on, come on. And what's the old adage? If you don't use it, you lose it. Got to keep those legs moving. Got to keep those legs. Turn over. Turn over, baby. Turn over. The Pegasus 35s, baby, before the warm-up, they felt amazing. Just as good as yesterday. Wow. Okay, but did, somebody did comment on yesterday's vlog. Go check it out. And they, they talked about how they felt like their heel was slipping in the shoe a little bit. I didn't feel it today on the second uh, attempt in the shoe. But if you feel like your heel slipping in the 35s, let me know. All right. First workout of 2018 happening right now. Six by 1K repeats with... 60 second rest on a cross country course, so dirt, which I'm doing it on dirt because the race that I'm doing in 10 days from now is a buffed out trail run. It's meaning the trail is very smooth and, and clear. So, oh, ready for a little turbo action? Um, yeah, all right, let's do. I forgot. I forgot one last thing. Basically, the Pegasus Turbos, they felt fast when I ran in them two days ago. They did not feel like a everyday trainer. They felt like a tempo shoe to me. So that's why I'm wearing them today in this 1K repeat workout, just testing, seeing how they feel going faster rather than a little slower. Like I ran, I think, 720, 730 pace in these three days ago, and they just, it, they did not feel comfortable at that pace. So let's stay tuned. I'm gonna let you know how they feel at, well, I don't know what pace I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Let's roll. Or should I say, let's turbo. Rep number one is in the books. This is a cross country course, so I'm just kind of marking it off. Approximately, that first 1K was 335. Okay, 60 seconds rest, then number two.
That is why I don't do workouts. That hurt like none other. Oh, question of the day. How often do you do interval or speed training in your workout uh, regimen? Oh, that was the first really speed intervals of 2018. Oh, I know why I don't do them now. College, we did that twice a week. Oh, man. Right on this course. up there I'm being invaded being invaded let's go eat some Jersey Mike subs oh man welcome home everybody welcome home YouTube this is my life this is my life this is my car what's that yeah I'll start a bath it was not fire hazard Thank you, my love. I'll be back in like 30 minutes, YouTube. I'll be back in like 30 minutes. I gotta eat dinner because I'm about Hello. to pass out. Hello. Tonight's editing station. Tonight's editing station. All right, folks. I gotta get the shoes zesty for their photo shoot. They're clean. They're clean, right over there. They're looking good, looking fresh, looking zesty. All right, guys, I, I said this maybe three times already this week. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat my gear reviews, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat how I feel after a hard workout. My planter hurts like It hurts. It's killing me. It hurts. It's fascinating. It. I woke up, it felt good. And usually your planter does not feel good in the morning because at night the tendon gets uh, tight. Basically, thank you for all your comments and concerns from the last two or three days about my planter. And um, I've suffered from plantar fasciitis throughout my entire life, actually. And I'm going to reveal something to you soon about what happened in college with my planter at the University of Colorado. So, the University of Colorado. Let's talk about CU Boulder. On that cross country course, that is a that cross country course I was running on today. It's a it's a love hate relationship. Relationship. I walked on to the. All right, hold on. I gotta set my phone down. I'm just too excited. High schoolers, listen to me. I was not recruited out of high school. I was not recruited out of high school. What was my high school 5K PR? Any guesses? Any guesses? Comment below. Hit pause. Hit pause. <sighs> 1627. 1627. 1627. That's good, but it's not Division I good. So I was not recruited out of high school. Therefore, I had a dream. I had a goal to fight for to walk on to the University of Colorado's cross country team which at the time had just won the Division I National Championship. And fortunately, I did it. I did it. I walked on. I walked on. Meaning, a walk-on is somebody that, walk, like, you try out, you do a time trial, and I, I, I like, I, there's, a, there's a pattern in my life, time trials. So I did a time trial, and I made it onto the team. High schoolers, don't give up. If you want to run competitively, and all of you guys like that are in high school, you're commenting on like your 5K PRs from the video last week, keep the comments coming about your goals and dreams. Guys, you can do this too. If I can make, if I can make a Division I program, you definitely can. All right, back to the shoe, back to the workout today. I started out in the Pegasus 35, and I thought I had died and gone to heaven. I almost, I almost kept this shoe on for the workout, but that would have thrown off the entire video. So I put on the turbo and it actually felt, it felt great underfoot. Now listen, the, uh, the outsole on the bottom of the shoe is not made for that much dirt or definitely not gravel dirt, which is what I was running on a little bit today. So I was slipping around a little bit. I think on a really nice 
buffed out trail or a, f a completely flat trail, it would be great. But on a gravelly trail, is that even a word, gravelly? On a gravelly trail, not so good. So the outsole was interesting, and uh, I could feel my planter throughout the workout, but I pushed through. Uh, I think I'll just rattle the times off. I, I it, Half of it was uphill, half of it was downhill. I was anywhere between 3.30, uh, basically 3.30s on the uphill 1K and 3.05 on the downhill 1K. So I was very pleased. It was a great workout. Uh, my first <laughs> This is my first workout of 2018, and it hurt, as you saw at the end there. Like, I, I know, I, I love running far and hard, consistently. But man, starting and stopping and going into oxygen debt and working on your anaerobic threshold and oh, it's so. I'm not. Eh, I gotta work on it. I gotta. That's what I gotta work on in 2019. Anyways, I almost kept the Pegasus 35 on for the workout, but I decided to to go with the Turbo. Now this is not my official comparison video between these two shoes. That's coming up. I want to do plenty more running in both of them before I compare them and see how they. Because I know a lot of you guys are wearing this shoe. All right. Keyword of the day. Comment below if you've made it this far in the video and you hear this word, or words, plantar fasciitis. Just kidding. Just kidding. Does anybody know how to spell plantar fasciitis? If you do, bonus points. Instead, type PF, shortening plantar fasciitis, to PF down below. And basically, um, Bridget and I, my, True Love and I, my wife, we have started calling plantar fasciitis PF around the house. Like, how's your PF? Instead of saying it out. So if you've made it this far, thank you. Comment below, PF. That'd be amazing. And that is all for today, folks. Thank you for answering the question of the day about your workout routine and like what you do for speed work. I'd love to know down in the comments again. And uh, uh, oh yeah. There's going to be a playlist that pops out all about the Nike running shoes. Go up there, upper right-hand corner, check out that playlist. If you're interested in watching some time trials in some of these shoes behind me, upper right-hand corner. And welcome to all the new subscribers, by the way. New video every single day. And I'll be doing another time trial later this week. Stay tuned. Oh, it's going to hurt. Oh, it's going to hurt. Love ya. Seek beauty. Work hard. Work hard. Yeah, yeah.